Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about asset retirement obligation. Actually, first we need to understand the definition. As you know, the you know certain long-lived tangible assets such as mines or nuclear power plants incur significant cost after the end of their productive life. For example, even if you are oil and gas company, maybe today you have installed certain plant and machinery to extract the crude oil. Okay, by the time when the extraction will be completed, okay, so you maybe you will incur certain cost to restore the land to the original condition. Okay, so the whatever the cost you will incur to restore the land, that is called your asset retirement obligations. Okay, so of course it is your liability which will be settled in the future. So what we are going to do here, so today you should remember. Uh, we will calculate first of all the fair value of this liability. Fair value means say you simply you need to calculate the present value of future cash flows. Future cash flows means say the cash flows which you will incur, okay, in future to settle that liability. Estimate those cash flows and convert those cash flows back into the present value, okay. And when you want to discount future cash flows back to the present value, to so which discount rate you will use? You will use credit adjusted, credit adjusted risk free rate. Okay, this is the rate which you have to use risk free rate. So, credit adjusted means say, first we need to understand uh, what is the risk free rate. Of course, this is the rate of interest which is offered by government securities, uh, usually treasury securities. Okay, so what we need to just we will take that risk free rate of return and we will adjust for our credit spending because it might require upward adjustments or downward adjustment because it depends upon your credit spending. If you are risky company, maybe you will add certain premium to the risk free rate. If you are less risky, so maybe you will reduce this rate. But the point is in, in your exam, so this risk free rate will be provided. So simply what you are going to do, you are going to convert the future cash flows back to the present values by using risk-free rate as a discount factor. And once you will calculate this present value, this present value is called future value. And this is what standard says, or US GAAP says, you have to record these liabilities as fair values, I mean to say, at the present value of future cash flow. And what we are going to do here, so today we will capitalize these costs also as an asset. Okay, and we will also book as a liability also in our financial statement. So, and I will talk about how you will book assets. So, for example, here, just let me give you a small example. Let's assume you have purchased an asset. You have purchased an asset for $100. And maybe you are estimating that you are going to incur some decommissioning cost or asset retirement obligation. Uh, for example, we have asset retirement obligation. Let's assume $20. I'm assuming these are the present value. So today what you will do, you will book the entry debit asset, okay, with the $100 plus $20, okay, because these asset retirement obligations are also capitalized. So you will debit by 120 and you will credit cash, maybe you have paid today $100 and you will credit asset retirement obligation by $20. This is how you will uh, record the entry. I mean, say you have to capitalize asset retirement obligation and you have to book the liability also okay so here we go let's have a look with the help of question so what to do initially okay and and then we will see what to do subsequently so here i'm going to talk about just initial measurement like at the time of construction or acquisition of the assets okay so what you are going to do with the asset retirement obligation so here we go with the help of example let's assume on january 1 year 1 okay this is our year one. A company acquired a plant for $200,000. This is the cost of the plant. The estimated useful life of the plant is five years. This is useful life with no salvage value. A is required by law to remove the plant and restore the land at the end of the plant useful, useful life. I mean to say, after five years, you need to restore the land, okay? So here A estimates that total cost to settle the liability for retirement of the plant is $50,000. This is what is your future value. This is your estimated cash flows. Okay, so A credit adjusted risk free rate is 
six percent. So this is the discount rate which we will use to calculate the present value. The present value of dollar one for five years, five year period at six percent is this is the present value factor because he told you at six percent for five years. This is your present value factor, and you can look from the present value table also, which is called present value of dollar one table. Okay, dollar one. Table, so you can look from the, that table also. Just go to six percent and look for the five years, so you can find this present value factor there also. Okay, then uh, and the present value future cash flow is expected to be paid to settle liability. So if you want to calculate the present value, simply what you will do, you will take future cash flows which are fifty thousand multiplied by the present value factor, which is zero point seven four. <clears throat> Uh, seven three. If you will multiply, so you will get the present value, which is equal to thirty seven thousand three hundred and sixty five. This is what is your present value. Okay. So now, initially, what you will do? So this is the initial recognition on January one, year one, the day when you acquire the asset. So what entry you will pass? You will tabulate the plant with the cost which you have actually paid plus with the present value of. Asset retirement obligation. Okay, you will just make the summation. So this will be your debit side, and then you will credit the cash, whatever you have already paid, which is two hundred thousand, and you will credit the liability for the plant retirement obligation with this value. Okay, now guys, I'm going to talk about subsequent accounting, subsequent to initial recognition, like what you will do at balance sheet date over the five years. So guys, here please you should remember. Let me just explain the idea what we are going to do here. Actually, here what you will do after the initial recognition, the ARC ARC means say asset retirement cost should be depreciated over the asset useful life. Of course, because you have capitalized these costs here. Look at here, you have capitalized here these costs. And these costs will be depreciated over the useful life. This is how you will deal with the debit side. So, what to do with the credit side? With this, especially with this liability. For this liability, what we are going to do? We are going to the liability recognized must be adjusted periodically for the passage of time, which is called accretion expense. Okay, like the liability. For example, you know, just you can look at here. Today you have booked the liability of thirty seven thousand. As something, but you will pay in future fifty thousand dollar after five years because which is given here in this question. Okay, this is your future value. This is your present value. So the difference between these two value is called your accretion expense, which you will record over the life of the asset. Okay, so what you will do, you will calculate the accretion expense, which I will show you how to calculate it. We will calculate by using the uh, same discount factor which you have used. To calculate the present value, which is also called effective interest method. So what we are going to do, we will calculate the accretion expense, and accretion expense we are going to add into the present value. Every year, what we are going to do, we are going to calculate accretion expense, and we are going to add to the present value. So what will happen over the years? Your present value will convert to the uh, to the fifty thousand, which you will use to settle at the end of the five years. So it means simply just we are going to Uh, unwind the present value. Okay, I will show you. Maybe you will not understand practically until unless I will show you the question. So here we go. So this is what we are going to talk about here. For example, uh, because we have a discount rate, okay, six percent we have used there. So we have a five years life. So what you will do here? So first we will write years one, two, three, four, five, and then you will write here liability at beginning of the year. And then we have a column for discount rate, and here we here we will get the accretion expense, and then we will get the liability at the end of the period. So here we go, guys. In year one, first let me do the calculation for year one. So you will write. We we will start with the present value which you have calculated. Present value was thirty seven thousand three hundred and sixty five dollar. You will multiply with the discount rate which was six percent. So you will get the accretion expense, and I will tell you what entry you will pass. So simply, so you will take beginning present value plus accretion expense. You will get year end liability. Okay, so it means accretion expense is gonna to increase your liability. Okay, so I will tell you how to deal with it. So then we have here this closing balance will be the beginning for next period. 
again times six percent you will get guys here what you will get you will get the accretion expense again beginning plus accretion expense will be your closing liability and for year three this closing liability for year two will become opening for year three again times six percent okay you will get accretion expense so then opening liability plus accretion expense this will be your closing liability this process you will repeat over the five years so you will see so at the end of the five years it is exactly equal to fifty thousand, which you will settle and you will use this you will settle this liability and you will pay the cash okay so the point is now as i told you at the start because asset retirement obligation we will capitalize also we will book the liability also Capitalize as an asset mean to say that asset should be depreciated and liability should be unwinded. Okay, and you have to uh, record the equation expense. So here we go. So we, we we will pass two entries every year. Okay, in year one, from year one to uh, from year one to year five. Okay, you will pass two entries. What entry number first entry you have to record the depreciation expense and depreciation expense. How you will calculate? I'm assuming we are using straight line method so we have booked the asset at the start okay in the initial recognition which was 237 365 this was the value of asset divided by a useful life of asset which is five years so i will get annual depreciation of 47473 dollar okay and i will credit the accumulated depreciation with this value of course we are using straight line depreciation so it will give you same depreciation in each year but when it comes to the accretion expense, so in year one, you can just look uh, at this table. So in year one, we have accretion expense of double two four two. So you will double the accretion expense, which you will take it to the income statement and you will credit the liability for plant retirement obligation. I will say you are going to transfer this accretion expense to the liability because your liability is going to increase over the passage of time. So you will credit the liability. In year one, you will use this value. In year two, you will pass the same amount, the uh, same entry, but you will use this amount. In year three, you will pass the same entry, but you will use this amount. Okay, this is how you will repeat the process over the five years. So here we go. Now, if you want to see uh, the plant and the related liabilities are reported on December thirty first, year one. I mean, at the end of the reporting period, balance is how it will be reported. You have a uh, in the non tenant asset in asset side. Under the non credit asset, you have a PPE heading, property, plant, and equipment. There you will write the plant cost. This is initial cost, which is 237,365 minus accumulated depreciation, which is in the year one only. We have a 47,473. This is how you will get your carrying amount for the asset. And the liability value will be exactly from here. You can look at here. The liability value will be this one will be your at the end of the first year. And this will be your at the end of second year and next value will be at the end of third and fourth and five years so this is your value of liability and you can say this way also you have an opening liability at the start you have booked how much uh 37 000. okay 365 plus you have here in this entry you can look at here in this entry you have credited the liability by double two four two again it's equal to this again same value three nine six zero seven okay this is how you will deal over the years now let's move what you will do at the last in the last year because in the last year once you will remove the asset of course you have to incur you have to settle this liability which you have created at the time of acquisition or development of the asset so at that time maybe your actual amount uh, which you are going to pay to settle the liability might be different than whatever you have booked in your financial statement so the difference between actual payments and the liability which we have already recognized in the balance sheet is called your gain or loss for example here we go they're telling you at the end of the plant service life a company incurred cost of a 55000 for restoring the land so please remember if you will look at it in the last year we have a liability of 50000 look at it last year we have a liability of 50000 but actually you paid 55000 it means you paid extra amount so this extra is a loss on settlement of, of ar so what you will do you will double the asset retirement obligation 50000 because in the fifth year this liability is standing in your balance sheet and you will credit the cash because you have credited the cash of 55000 
and the difference is called your loss because difference is on debit side if difference will come on credit side this is called gain on settlement i hope guys it is clear how to deal with the asset retirement obligation and under ifrs it is also called decommissioning cost so thank you so much guys see you in the next video bye bye